Hi everyone, I'm Ken from Crypto Trading KS. If you're new, welcome and welcome back KS family. Let's run the numbers. Bitcoin currently down 1.33% to 41.857. Ethereum down 1.63% to 3116. From my 30 plus years in financial markets, I explain the smart money mindset to assist you to be more of a financial blessing to yourself and those you love, gaining real wealth in the process. If you would like daily updates on price movements in the crypto market, seven days a week, 365 days a year, please subscribe to YouTube. Unfortunately, we're getting scammers approaching members of the community through non-official emails. These are the only two official emails we have. This is where you can contact me anytime. kstandf at gmail.com or canstandfield2018 at gmail.com. I don't have any other email addresses that I contact people through anymore. Just these two. And the preference is kstandf at gmail.com. Please check that whatever correspondence is being sent is not being sent by scammers. I have a very specific way of engaging and talking with people. Scammers have a lot of trouble emulating that. If you think that anything is amiss, please reach out and let me know. And you can send along any correspondence you've had with them. I make it my mission to hunt scammers down. Hopefully they can change from a negative excellence life trend, which will just create inner and outer conflict and just basically tarnish their life to a positive excellence life trend. But in between, I'll be looking for them. In the last video, we talked about a potential crash and what that would look like. And I gave you some hints on what actually to look for and what the current state of events was. If you haven't seen that video, I would definitely urge you to look at it. It's a really, really important video to look at. We can see Bitcoin's price is currently 41,785. Let's go on with the analysis. In life and in crypto, rule 28 is a very beautiful rule. Opportunities reset daily. Yesterday is past, it's done and dusted. Now let's have a look at what opportunities abound in the crypto space today. What do we see with Bitcoin? It's just consolidating along a technical support line and that's fine. We're not seeing anything out of the ordinary here. And we would expect a specific pattern to unfold anyway. We could get more of a long tail rejection down here just as the sort of last sale hurrah before things turn around. And there are a lot of shorts getting called into the market at the moment because they're feeling more certain after so many months of downward price momentum. Just going from the very peak down to current price action, the crypto market has come down. Let's go to the lowest. It's come down around 42%. And that's over 69 days. Of course, people are feeling really, really bearish. But there's always opportunities in this market. Anybody who can pull out any significant percentage gain during these times is a professional. Of course, I'm referring to Bitcoin, but Bitcoin is the proxy for the directional movement in crypto. 99% of alts will move with Bitcoin's direction. They always say it's darkest before the dawn, and this is especially true with the crypto market. What can we see with Ethereum? Ethereum's making a higher low as well, and it's above this technical level, which is really, really good. It's showing particular strength. What can we see with Binance coin? A higher low. We can see this playing out. Solana is a little bit weaker. The higher low is that not that much above the low. We can see with Binance coin, the higher low is considerably above the previous low. Just keep these things in mind. When we saw ADA spike a couple of days ago, one thing I said to be aware of, there would likely be in probabilistic terms, a lot of sellers trying to get out at that sell line and taking advantage of that spike up in price. We've seen exactly that play out. 
smart money investors and traders look for the redder the better and we can see ADA is quite red but it's not just the color we don't just say oh ADA is really really red let's go into that there always needs to be analysis backing it up and we can see another couple of reds near ICP phantom link Aave Neo we just keep our eye on these what is basically happening is that the Bitcoin momentum and gravity has pulled down the entire crypto market. When that starts to bounce, we're going to see some disproportionate bounces across the alts. Just bear that in mind. Let's have a look at XRP forming a higher low textbook stuff. What about dot forming a higher low? I think dot could be really, really interesting. Let's keep our eye on this one. Luna doing really well we saw luna come down it's found a level of support and now going up but it's going to run into a bit of resistance up here so we may get a bit of wobble may luna is really really powerful but it's always the case that we keep in mind what has been happening bitcoin has been coming down luna has been coming up when bitcoin decides to come up What's going to happen to the really beaten down, highly correlated alts? What you may see is some cycling out of alts that have done particularly well and the money flow into alts that have been really beaten down. Just be aware of this. Looking at the next day, we can see Doge had a bit of a spike up and has come down really severely. This is kind of Doge's behavior. It can get very spiky and it's kind of like Cartesi in many ways. It can spike up and then retrace very heavily. We just need to be aware of that. AVAX is just consolidating, just like Bitcoin, forming a higher low. When we look at SHIB, we got a higher low in here as well. Look at that directional correlation with Bitcoin. It's really, really strong. Let's have a look at Matic. Matic coming back to a support line. Litecoin making a higher low and we can see uni starting to get a quite nice support line through here algo is starting to lose a little bit of support there it's starting to look a bit weak chain link has seen a really heavy sell down but it's finding a degree of support along that bottom area looking at the next day we can see bitcoin cash still pretty heavily under resistance tron trx has been forming a higher low as we anticipated it would be doing decentraland a higher low but just looking a little bit weak but i imagine with microsoft's activision procurement uh, things could be really hotting up in the gaming segment when we look at axie infinity it's creating a higher low as well look at that directional correlation between bitcoin and axie what do you think will happen when bitcoin starts to turn around and rally and it will at some stage what do you think will happen then just please let me know in the comments okay let's have a look at rose our thought experiment let's have a look at rose about five days ago we saw rose was really coming up it went up 87.87 percent .87%. what a cool percentage and we saw that past price action went up higher than that one thing that I noticed was that particular momentum could potentially wane. So I started to put a red box in there to show that what may actually happen to price. And what we've seen over the past five days is that Rose has come down. Now buying at levels of support in here is a really, really good thing to do. I don't believe Rose will come down too much more than that 39.731 level but we could get a long tail slurping that up. It is possible that it could fall into this zone, but it's probably because of a long tail like this, like this kind of idea. If that happens and you're in rows, I'm not actually in rows at the moment, and I have actually never been in rows, but the concept is a couple of people in the community really like rows, so I thought we'd just do a bit of a thought experiment on it. One thing that a lot of people want to do, and this is really, really classic zone one and zone two behavior. So if you're sort of victim of this, it may be good to know. 
You can't capture everything. If you try to capture everything, it's just a myth. You'll just be running from one thing to the next to the next, and probably you'll end up timing it at the wrong time, and you might get locked in here. So how much did that actually decrease by? It looks from there, from about the 60 level, down to about the current price, 45,520. That's about 25%. So for example, if you put $10,000, you would have lost two and a half thousand if you were buying on the way up. That is why we apply our knowledge, especially the knowledge that's in the masterclass of buying at specific levels. And there's a lot of science behind this. In the masterclass, I go through everything step by step and lay out all the foundations. And masterclass students know that it's pretty hard work. 30 years of knowledge just can't be handed on a silver platter really, really easily. It's not like that. It always requires dedication and commitment. And the masterclass students are really dedicated. And going slowly is no problem at all. Going slowly, I would always recommend. In fact, we've got a rule on it. Go slow to go fast. With everything in life, just take your time and build up the ideas and the concepts understanding is the important thing at university and throughout school i did quite well but i was what you might call a slow student and why was i slow because i ripped every single concept every single idea apart i literally ripped them apart and forged them back together into a whole that i understood it's what you might call learning from first principles I really, really promote going slow to go fast in everything that you do. Let's have a look at VET. VET is just making a higher low, but it's kind of looking a little bit weak. It's pretty much on its previous. And when we look at Adam, this is really interesting. I noted before that their buying at support could be a really good idea with Adam. It was looking very, very strong, looking like it would get above this top level of resistance but we know the prices are negatively biased. What have we seen? That the 3866 level was filled and the 3553, <laughs> 3553 level was also filled. It doesn't mean it can't come down to the 3236 and the 2876, which is just forming a higher low pattern anyway, giving it time to come up and push through all of this sell resistance. You can see going through so many cryptos will just make you more of a financial blessing to yourself and those you love. Going through this each day, you'll forge new skills and that's what it's all about. And for the masterclass students, it's all about actually applying all those intricate rules that you understand and putting out your charting. FTT, FTX token, we've seen FTT do really well. Look at that higher low, how far it is away from this low. That is really good. That's showing us power. Turning towards the next day, why do we do so many? Why don't we just do one crypto? Because we want to understand the market. How is the market moving? The more patterns you look at each day, the higher the degree of skill that you will bring to your own specific beloved alts. Let's have a look at EGLD. EGLD is just following Bitcoin's directional movement. It's coming into an area of consolidation, but it's lo looking a little bit weak, but that's okay. When Bitcoin actually improves, what we're going to see is the entire crypto market put in double digit percentage gains. Looking at ICP now, we can see ICP put in a really good surge and it's been crushed down. There are so many sellers above this line that we said that could be highly probable and highly likely. We've seen a very, very big fall there. I'll just zoom in there so that we can get a better picture. We could see ICP getting above this resistance line. If you had, a, for example, put $10,000 in here, you would have lost $3,122 in this particular move down. That's why if you want to get into something, please always buy at levels of support. This is a good level of support. You can see it here and here and through here. 
this level of support would have been really good to buy at and you would actually seek to buy down lower as well because the potential for these long tail rejections on the other side is really really high if you wanted to get into ICP. Personally, I would not touch ICP, but that's just from a trader's perspective. You may have other reasons. Let's have a look at sand. Sand is coming down, showing some weakness, but I think the gaming sector could be really, really interesting. So let's have a look at file. File is under resistance. I think this is well overdue for a bounce back, just like what we saw with ICP. This is a high risk play. Please be aware of that. Let's have a look at CHR. CHR is retracing to particular lines here, support lines. It could come down a little bit further. And if it does, that's always a good thing. You want to make profit where you buy, buy lower. Like you saw with, uh, with ICP and Rose. Rose was going up, ICP is coming down, but the same rule applies. If you don't buy at the right levels, you will lose money guaranteed. You really, really need to know what you're doing. Theta, when we look at Theta, what we can see is a spike up to this particular resistance line. We may get a bit of turbulence in here, or it may pass through to the other side like it did previously. We'll just keep our eye on it, but this is pretty spiky stuff. Ethereum Classic, like Bitcoin Cash, very much under resistance at the moment. Near, coming up to that resistance level, it's just filled one of our 10.510s, which is 16.359, and it could very well fill the 14.751. We've got a few other levels below here as well that you can keep your eye on. Let's have a look at the community favorites. We can see VRA, Veracity, still under resistance, but we know there's a really high correlation between VRA and Bitcoin. When Bitcoin gets its act together, well, the whole crypto space will basically explode upwards. But please do not FOMO. That's level one. You don't want to be anywhere near that. It's always about buying at support levels. Let's have a look at Icon just forming it's pretty much a double bottom there at the moment sushi sushi is coming back to a level of support here and you can see just how spiky these things get you really never miss out in crypto a lot of people are really scared they say if i don't get it i'm going to to miss the boat let's just drill in on sushi quickly we can see sushi over 10 days and eight hours had a very impressive 110.31 percent rally that's really good stuff but we always buy in layers and levels going down and we can see sushi has come down 44.72 percent and we also see that sushi is under resistance all of these factors play into our analysis. It's really important. You, I'm just pointing this out so that you can see where you buy is absolutely critical. You need to buy effectively. For example, what typically happens in zone one and zone two is people see the price coming up and then when they feel certain, they wouldn't feel certain around here. They'd feel more certain around here and then they say okay it's time to get in now just imagine a person put ten thousand dollars on there and that's just a easy way of doing calculations more than anything else if the price came down 44.72 percent they just lost four thousand four hundred and seventy two dollars what are they likely to do in zone one and zone two they're likely to really panic they're likely to say oh I made the wrong move, I'll sell. And this is precisely the time where sushi would in all probability turn around and start to go back up. And people get trapped in this, okay, I've got certainty, ouch, I bought at the wrong price. Oh, I need to get out of here. And then it reverses. This is why this happens. With the smart money mindset, you don't get trapped in that way of thinking because literally you don't think that way. Let's have a look at IOTA. IOTA is just forming. It's been in a very consolidatory range. But if you look at this, this is just consolidating above support if we extend that out. Quite interesting. 
could be very interesting to see what IOTA does next. LRC, Masterclass students, if you're up to LV3 and LV4, LV is the living videos. When you finish the Masterclass, I have to let you know that you won't finish the Masterclass. I'm always putting out new videos on trades that I'm involved with and giving you the lowdown on how I go about doing things. We're just looking at LRC and you can see there's a lot of different levels that I've actually purchased. This is one I am purchasing to just bring out ideas and examples for the masterclass students. Let's just keep our eye on here. Okay, but what do we see? LRC, loop ring, is under resistance, but it's a very strong crypto. It's shown a great amount of positive momentum and the market the market's attention is on LRC, especially when Bitcoin's price starts to turn around. And that's what we're anticipating here. Can it go down further? Absolutely. Yes, it can. And we're hoping that it will go down to 91.85 if we're lucky. The lower it goes, the better off we'll actually be with this particular type of trade. We're just keeping our eye on it. I'm just informing the masterclass students on that one. RSR is below resistance. This is this is not technically the pattern that you would say, oh, I really want to get into this one. RSR is below multiple levels of resistance. But of course, as Bitcoin's price improves, that those resistances will be blown away. But you just have to be aware they're absolutely there. Okay, audio. Audio is just a little bit below resistance as well. And Cartesi, doing what Cartesi does best, spiking around all over the place. I love reading the community comments, especially on YouTube. We've got so many wonderful community members. Thanks so much, everyone, for your love and healing thoughts to my mum. She's getting there. Just like to say thank you again. I think Mike of all trades raised a really good thing to understand. There are a number of different memberships on the Crypto Trading KS Masterclass. The first one is the Foundation member. Foundation members have four years of access. Why is that? Because the Foundation members stepped forward and took advantage of that very special discount, the Foundation membership. The normal period of access is two years. So masterclass students got double the access. And that's a way of me saying thank you to the masterclass students by giving them extra access. And of course, living videos are coming out all the time for those masterclass students. The learning literally never stops. But for the regular people who actually join up, it is two years of access. When you actually get a coupon code from a CTKS ambassador, you get three years of access. That's an extra 50% access that people would get if they go through an ambassador. And that is what I want. I want people to go through ambassadors. I, of course, can't give four years of access because that's strictly reserved for the foundation members. For those people who had the foresight and vision to come in early, what I'm actually going to do is keep the price at full price for any new member. But I want to promote people to look for the CTKS ambassadors because that's a way, another way that I give back to the community. So I hope this explains things, Mike of all trades. If you're a foundation member, of course you get four years. People who come through the CTKS ambassadors will get three years and people who've paid the full price of the course will get two years. Of course, I want people to go through the ambassadors. That is a way that I also give back to the community. I hope that clears it all up, Mike. If you're interested in becoming an ambassador, you can just fill out an expression of interest form. This is at www.cryptotechnicalanalysis.org and you just go to the ambassador section and you can just click this button. Apart from being the highest honor in crypto technical analysis, each CTKS ambassador will get a coupon code that entitles other new members to really, really mind-blowing 
substantial discounts on the masterclass. I want to thank everybody who's applied and this is an ongoing thing. You can apply for the CTKS ambassadorship at any particular time. And CTKS ambassadors are more than just people who can give an incredibly great discount. They embody the concepts of real wealth and the aspects of integrity, decency and kindness. CTA, Crypto Technical Analysis, is a professional skill, but it's also a kindness-based philosophy. I love how we're getting so many comments, especially by new people. CJ is not new, but he had a very fantastic... CJ said, and this is all in relationship to being never too old to learn and never too young to start as well. CJ said, People that don't have the drive will always apply their excuses on others. You're too old, you're not smart enough, whatever that excuse is. He said, Elon Musk states it best, when something is important enough, you do it, even if the odds are not in your favor. I can't agree more. That commitment is always the differentiator between successful people and people who dream about being successful. Being successful requires enormous dedication, commitment and hard work. And it should always be basically said, that's the footnote to anyone who is successful. They really work hard. And the harder you work, the luckier you, you get. CJ said, don't let your past decisions about what you can do dictate your future. Absolutely. Just beautiful. Thanks, CJ. And thank you, Rekt. Age is only a number, not a definition of how anyone should feel. It's never too late to accomplish real wealth. Really well said, my friend. Thank you also to the meditative mind. It all comes down to motivation. Once you start on the learning curve, it's never as hard as you think. Come on this amazing journey with us. Thanks so much, meditative mind. I really like what Scrappy T said. Truly the hardest part with anything new is making the commitment to start. And once you get over the initial barriers, motivation, momentum carries you the rest of the way. And Flamingo Crypto came out with some really wise words. It said that once we humans do something for 21 days in a row, it becomes habit. Absolutely. Creating positive habits can carry you towards great heights in your life. And creating negative habits can do the exact opposite. Challenging our habits is really, really important. And getting over initial barriers is always a thing to do. And remember, go slow to go fast. I love what Badger wrote as well. It's strange they tell us that the age of retirement is 65, yet most of the people running the world are over 65. Oh, well done, Badger. Thanks, Brett, for your very nice wishes about my mum. Thank you, my friend. Brett says lifelong learning. Why would one ever stop? It's just too much fun. Brett was saying the masterclass is challenging, and it is challenging. There are a few hurdles to get across, but there's so much joy when you do, and everything is done in such a way that you will get through it. You just have to keep moving forward slowly is fine absolutely go slow to go fast brett says ken's ability to transfer a complex and layered subject matter into bite-sized practical learning is impressive practical not only in the form of clear and lucid explanations but also in the form of practical take it home charts your kindness shines through each lesson thank you my friend well done on an excellent teaching on excellent teaching too that enables lifelong intergenerational learning. Thanks so much, Brett. Thank you, Vasanti. Very nice. Flow Exponential says, when you're challenging, when you're taking on something challenging like learning, if many people go at it together, you just naturally lift each other up. And our community does that. We have comment section under every single video in the masterclass and everybody is lifting each other up. It's a truly beautiful environment. And I want to thank all the masterclass students for doing that. You're such beautiful people. And thank you to Averton. It's never too late to learn new things. I hope someday I will be just like Cheryl. How beautiful. See Cheryl, you're inspiring so many people. That's just magnificent. 
Thank you also to Bildi. Bildi says, for a stark contrast to our great community, CoinMarketCap has introduced or made more prominent their chat system. And boy, is it chock full of bitter, unhelpful people making snide, basically nasty remarks, especially to new people who have no idea what they're doing and are just worried. Here's to continued building of the KS community and more people finding this helpful and welcoming group of people. That's really beautiful, Billy. We have an incredible community. It's really a global extended family and everybody is here helping each other. It's also really beautiful what Bildi says. If you have friends or family who are new to crypto, please recommend our beautiful community to them. They'll get nothing but support and assistance here. It's really nice what Art said. Thank you for your kind wishes, Art. Sherilyn, you're never too old, <laughs> never too young or too old to learn. It's been proven that learning new things will keep your mind going. Absolutely, really, really important part of keeping the mind and of course the body really healthy. And thank you, Al. Every time I see Al's photo, I just give a little laugh. It's so cute. <laughs> CTA, crypto technical analysis, is a skill and a philosophy. It's about making, keeping money and being happy. It's a gem. And it's all about becoming a blessing to ourselves and those we love. Thanks so much, Al. Thank you to Flamingo. We are never, ever too old to learn. Society tends to judge us based on our age. But when we think about it, we are majority of a human being is actually water and stagnant water is dead water. When you think about this, it's really important to keep that water flowing and knowledge is one way to do it. Flamingo goes on to say, what a beautiful person Flamingo is, just constantly blown away by Flamingo and all of our community. Flamingo said, I recently learned how to paint whimsical birds and flowers onto rocks and I put a kind saying on the back of each rock and I leave them around my town for people to randomly find. If you look up Kindness Rock Project, you'll see what I mean. That's just beautiful, Flamingo. And Flamingo embodies what it is to be a crypto technical analyst. We are kind people with integrity and also strength and boundaries and honor and fearlessness. Doing these kind of things just makes the world just a slightly better place. It's really lovely. Every single person here at Ken's YouTube channel is here because they want to learn and they want to be a financial blessing to themselves and those they love. Thanks so much, Flamingo. Really beautiful. And what incredible people we have. Gabriel went to uni at age 30 with no formal qualifications and left with a Masters of Engineering and a PhD. What a legend. Tails also spoke of never letting go of the ever curious child inside me. The very kind professor from film school taught Tails that. That's a really beautiful thing. Curiosity is the hallmark of advancement in every facet of life. Being curious is a really, really good thing. Very beautiful. Thanks for sharing. I hope you found the content useful. Please consider sharing and liking this video if you think it will help others. Thank you very much to our moderators for keeping our community safe from scammers. And please be aware of those two official email addresses. If you have any concerns or worries, please reach out to either one of those official email addresses and let me know. If you would like daily updates on price movements in the crypto market, seven days a week, 365 days a year, please subscribe to YouTube. I've left helpful links in the description of this video. Please remember, crypto is volatile. Always prepare for the best and worst case scenarios. Reality will likely be between them. Stay safe out there, my friends. Take care and see you next time. Bye for now. And I'd just like to say hello to Suzanne and her family. <laughs> Bye for now, everyone.